Hello there commanders and welcome back to War Games Institute tournament number two. We are in quarterfinal number four. Yes, we have jumped a quarterfinal, but number one obviously. Uh, because again, one of the teams in the previous quarterfinal didn't show up. So yeah, we had only two quarterfinals. This quarterfinal is between White Wolves and Billy. I think just Billy, not Team Billy maybe for the sake of it. Um, and White Wolves is actually quite an interesting team because it's a merge or a super team created out of the best players out of White Eagles and Abiran Wolves, so hence White Wolves. And that's a Witcher reference, so double points for them for a very, very cool name that they have come up with. Um, yeah, so it's a super team essentially uh, taking stars from both teams but maybe created a little bit of a trade-off of communication effectiveness because both of those teams are national teams so well you can know you may know them from national cup uh, where iberian wolves are essentially the spanish team and white eagles are essentially the polish team um, so yeah you probably already have seen all of those names in the, <coughs> in the national cup but this tournament has happened before the national cup so, just so you know, even though I'm publishing this uh, much later. So, let's now focus on what both of those teams are actually onto. I see six elephants on the side of uh, the Beetle team, and only three elephants only, right, on the side of uh, White Wolves. So, we'll see how it goes. Both teams committing um, a little bit of forces to the sea. Uh, Billy committing a little bit more, four units, five-ish, uh, versus only three, and they are already winning their engagements quite heavily using Scorcher and Defiance. So White Wolves are wisely pulling out of there, out of, well, sort of. Um, yeah, but looks like a Billy is going to win Billy. <laughs> Team Billy is going to win, there we go. Oh, we do have Javelins fighting an Eleven, they cannot really shoot him now at the moment because he's in melee technically. And they are also being spotted. Elephants have actually higher uh, spotting range within Tallgrass. They're essentially mini watchtowers when it comes to moving through Tallgrass. So they're permanently spotting those Javelins and as they're trying to deal some damage to the Elephant, they're being constantly uh, shot by uh, the Arches. Those are Lesbos Arches, so Greek Arches, better at dealing all the ranged units. Although maybe in case of javelins, it doesn't really matter that much uh, which archers you're picking. Uh, but they are also being disrupted a little bit by an elephant, but they are inside a forest. So elephants, as you can see, struggle a little bit with moving in there. And archers do have quite a little easy time evading them. But they have run out of melee units to actually defend the point. So white wolves should be able to get the quite quickly. They're already capping it. There we go. Contest is starting as... Actually, who is contesting? It must have been that unit somehow, somewhat for a brief amount of time. But yeah, archers, they still deal damage. That's all they do. Uh, healing zone now have disappeared. Also, it was being denied by an elephant. And yeah, the melee, un uh, the melee team prevails with support of javelins. Uh, but uh, C goes to the other team, to the Billy team. Team Billy, I don't know. Just Billy. Uh, but that means three points captured to two for the White Wolves team, so they uh, go out of the first stage of the Battle of Victorious. Uh, now we'll see if they will try to just hold on to the status quo and whether uh, Team Billy, we are just calling the Chinese team again, um, will be able to uh, well change the status quo and find a comeback victory. Obviously, since I participate in this tournament, I know uh, who is going to win, but for the sake of avoiding spoilers for you, I will not give that up. So, let's see. Using the healing zone at sea, uh, the Chinese team has healed up over there, respawned the players that they have lost. They still have uh, a few players needing a heal, and White Wolves are sending their own elephant on top of there. There is an elephant present for the Chinese team that can stop that elephant as soon as it heals itself. Uh, Arch is still being chased down by dogs they cannot recall, they cannot kill them, 
uh, they just need to die, they just need to accept their fate instead of trying to run away. Unless the dogs would be recalled back to... Well, they also want to heal up, I guess, and they have just let the archers go. But are now free to go to the healing zone and heal up. Um, as long as the telephone is being held in place, but it is by an elephant. So as I said in the previous team, um, in the previous match, an elephant can only be countered by another elephant, and here you can see that perfectly being done. Elephant cannot move forward without essentially just dying. So yeah, it's going to die anyway because uh, the Chinese elephant has more uh, health. So now we see white wolves switching their attention towards C, and yeah, both. Well, actually, it's probably uh, the Polish part of this team that have decided to go for Oasis. As we have seen the Polish team picking Oasis quite a bit in National Cup, while uh, the Spanish, I think they have preferred uh, preferred Salernum and Teutobuk Forest more. Um, but could have been whatever influence. Um, <laughs> let's see what's happening on this flank. Elephants pushing in. Having six elephants is quite a big advantage because that means that even if you're behind, as the Chinese team is right now, you can put elephants everywhere because you have six of them. Right? They can easily put elephants on top of D, which is what they're trying, but instead they got caught up in a prolonged fight against Hannibal Spearman, which are very good counter. Uh, you have melee uh, weapon damage bonus from at Portas, which is being used, and you have uh, well, melee weapon bonus from just being spears. So that combo is actually quite deadly to elephants, but that being said, elephants can just stomp and walk through them, which is what they just now have decided to do. Um, they should have done that much, much earlier, and then fight on top of the point and deny the point gain that way. So quite a big mistake out there for, um, by the Chinese elephant player, and one of the elephants, again, on the healing zone, a duel. We'll see. If the White Wolf's Elephant will be able to prevent the healing of this unit. Can he walk through and deny the healing? He's trying to. He's trying to outmaneuver, stomp its way through. Let's see. He walks through, but well, that, healing, that unit is already healed. Again, if you want to counter an Elephant, bring an Elephant of your own. Simple as that. <laughs> uh, which is maybe not the best out of the balancing standpoint, but that's what it is. And teams need to adapt to it. And well, that's a um, good draft on the side of... The Chinese team, they have six elephants versus three, and they have arches to counter the enemy uh, and javelin, and having the higher pressure of the elephants, they should be able to um, constantly pressure the enemy javelins and keep their arches safe, especially since uh, the white wolf team also doesn't have any cavalry. So it's very, very difficult for uh, the white wolves to... Uh, put pressure on the, uh, the enemy arches, and yet they're still doing it with their own elephants Despite these elephants should always be shut down Just send three elephants against three enemy elephants and then have three elephants of your own to do whatever you want You can send one to B start contesting that uh, You can send one to D start contesting that and then have another elephant to contest C or deny a healing zone uh, Near a zone you're already fighting for for example uh, well, not see because that's the one you're holding, and yet they have sent three elephants in here. Why? You have infantry, enough infantry to hold on to it. You have healing zone, uh, which from which you can send melee infantry from, but I guess maybe they just want to use elephants here to buy as much time for the infantry to go to D. That's a valid strategic choice, um, so yeah, that's all good. That does make sense, so I'm not going to flame them much more for sending these three elephants over here. And then they can rotate these elephants. As one of them is going down a little bit on HP, you can send them uh, to go back to heal uh, while the other two are still buying time on top of the point. We actually have four elephants in here, holy shit. Four elephants on one point, I think that's still a little bit overkill. Um, and those elephants could definitely be utilized better elsewhere. So even though I like uh, the Billy team draft much more, I think the execution is definitely uh, better on the side of the White Wolf team. Um, so yeah, that's where the individual skill kind of comes in. Or maybe not the individual skill in this, oh, it's a bit of both. Uh, but this time it is more on the side of uh, the team captain, being able to control where key units such as elephants are going to. Um, 
because the decision making is divided a little bit between the team captain and individual players right the infantry players we kind of treat them as just that infantry players the one collective group right unless you have some specialized units such as spikes um, but you generally just maneuver them around the entire battlefield and C is going to be captured despite four elephants being in there but all three of them went back to heal which left zero elephants on the C and C is now locked wow just wow well the build team is falling apart quite quickly as E is being contested so that's zero points for uh, the Chinese team and White was essentially control almost the entire map. These contested a little bit by the Foxmen, but they're going to be cut down quite easily by an overwhelming number of the White Wolves uh, units in the area. The healing zone is being denied, archers are coming in, they can do some damage to the javelins that are uh, doing a, in return quite a lot of damage to the Foxmen, but that's a little bit too little, too late. Um, so yeah, the Foxmen have already gone down, there's no more melee units in there to really contest the point, there's only one left, but that is going to be quite easily surrounded and routed, I imagine, if they play that right. The cavalry could have gone after the javelins that are not really protected at all at the moment, maybe the unit of handlers, but it cannot really stop a charge either. Um, so you could easily deal with those javelins, but yeah, it's just too, too late, that cavalry isn't moving, uh, there's not enough infantry no elephant, which would also be extremely, extremely useful. And those elephants are now being put on top of C, two elephants versus two. And I didn't really feel that elephant advantage. Uh, they're all the way back here. You have six elephants versus three, and yet um, white wolves feel like they have more elephants somehow, or at least equal amount of elephants. So that's very um, well played or well managed out of uh, the white wolves team. And well, the result is them being 1,000 points ahead and well on their way to victory. Uh, C has been unlocked and is being contested by those uh, two elephants. Another one is being committed in there. Yeah, I I'm really not a fan of this. Either just use an elephant to deny. But elephants are not that good at taking points. They're just good at holding them. But they can do a lot of damage, don't get me wrong. Um, they have huge, huge damage potential in the fight against blobs, um, which is some, somewhat what we see here. Um, but I do have my doubts about this being able to actually be done in here, uh, given that uh, there's also another enemy elephant in there. Um, there is a little bit of uh, B contest going on, but that is also going to be very quickly over, or over soon. And yeah, the build team really needs to find something to do on the map. Again, I would just spread out the elephants, put up a lot of pressure, force the white wolves to react to those elephants, and then try to maybe commit all the infantry on one side. If you have six elephants, you can hold E with an elephant, you can contest B with an elephant, or you can contest C with an elephant, and then send everything to D, for example, right? Capture D and then dash to A. Try to win that way while holding E. Then you have three points versus just two. That's my suggestion for um, the Chinese team here. Um, do they have any alternatives? I mean, they can just keep pushing E um, that way, but that way, even if they capture B, sorry, uh, push from E to B, but that way, if they capture B, they still hold on to two points uh, versus three. So that's definitely not going to put them back into the game. And they can only contest D as B uh, as A is locked as long as D is uh, still captured. So definitely focusing on the D A side is much better choice for the Chinese team than to focus on the E B. Just hold on to E with minimal forces. Contest B with an elephant shouldn't be that hard, especially since we have six elephants. God damn it! <laughs> um, yeah, and do the same with C, or even just let go of C if you have to, if you need to commit more forces elsewhere. <clears throat> but I think having an elephant on top of C, uh, having contest, um, can definitely buy a lot more time and resources out of the White Wolves team to make capturing other points easier. Well, and by other points, I mean the. But what I'm seeing essentially is just a disarray. 
I, I don't know what the Chinese team is doing and I'm not entirely sure whether they know themselves what they're doing. They're trying to hold on to E as the White Wolves are launching quite a powerful attack on there. Uh, Pikes are going to deny the healing zone. Three elephants have just spawned in here, three elephants have spawned in on the base, maybe they have recalled it, I didn't really see. Uh, but yeah, elephants against pikes. Okay, they managed to. Okay, that's in pike phalanx, and now they're in right in the middle of that formation. But they've caused some disruption, they need to stomp their way out of there. And yeah, pikes are counted to the elephants. Uh, well, that elephant didn't suffer that much damage, if you ask me. And other elephants, other two elephants, have made their way onto point E. So, E. Okay, they're actually walking straight through. Now they're, yeah, they're just committed to fighting here, they're not really going to be... Again, you could easily send one of those elephants, start contesting B. You're <clears throat> you're literally a few minutes away from losing, um, so you need to lower the point gain of the enemy team as much as possible to give you more time to figure something out, to capture something, to find some advantages somewhere. Uh, but they definitely don't have advantage at C. I mean, they kind of pushed out the infantry, but as long as these elephants are here, they cannot stop these elephants, and these elephants are being used properly. So despite um, the White Wolves team having fewer elephants, those three elephants are utilized more effectively than six elephants altogether of the Chinese team. Um, so yeah, I really do like to see that out of the White Wolves team, and I really don't like to see that out of uh, the Chinese team. So E still being contested, still zero points per second for a Chinese team. I don't really expect that to change because, well, if you compare that to the previous quarterfinal, right, uh, the battle on uh, Capital Line Hill, especially, um, I said, okay, this is a way. Uh, it's still a risky way because uh, defenders just have that much of an advantage. So you really need to find an advantage yourself. Uh, elsewhere, either by outmaneuvering the team uh, on the battlefield altogether, or just find individual outplays. And the French team was trying to find both. They definitely, yeah, they, they tried to identify their win conditions correctly. They just failed to be. They either weren't fast enough on the map uh, movements, or maybe they weren't individually skilled enough to pull out enough of an outplay, pull off enough of an outplay. Uh, but they definitely tried, and they were doing a good job. Here, yeah, you can't really say the same, and the result speaks to it, right? Um, the previous quarterfinal battles were still quite close, until the very, very end, and they definitely didn't end on three and a half thousand points to just one thousand points. So yeah, quite a painful battle to see, but then again, as they walk, uh, go forward into the tournament, uh, we'll definitely see better and better battles as uh, the weaker teams are being eliminated. Although, again, White Wolves will advance to fight Geese. Another bizarre name. I think they're a Russian team? I'm not 100% sure. Once I see the names, I'll probably be able to identify uh, where they're from. But at the moment, I don't really know. But they are the ones that advanced um, to the other semi-final. Uh, well, because their opponents didn't show up from quarterfinal number three. So that's it for this battle. I will see you another in another one in the next one. But until then, I will see you on Arena's battlefields, commanders.